My name is Bishop Dr. Elizabeth Foya, National Chair of uh, House Graduate Association. And uh, we are here representing graduate organizations. And we have this to say, we have this to say. But before we actually read our press release, I have uh, I have Bishop Zwonga and I have Apostle Isaac here who are presenting Kraji organization. They will also say their names and then we can read our press release. Yes, my name is uh, Bishop James Monga. I am the uh, chairman of uh, Perura Kraji United Association here in Kenya. Apostle Isaac Mwangi, the General Secretary, Alliance of Religious mm -hmm. Churches of Kenya. And we know this nation, God has given us this nation. So, Kenyans and Fera patriots, as one of the cardinal dictates that is premised on the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ and also founded on the foundation of the prophets of the old, like Jeremiah, is to love God and country. The nations of the world, as I would say, were designed by God for His glory and for the enjoyment of human family with acknowledgement of diversity knowing that uh, God is the author of marriages and this institution of marriage is God who ordained it and there is uniqueness of every single human being being in spite of no matter of their color, their faith, and their political inclination and their financial background. And as the scripture are emphatic that blessed is the nation whose the Lord is God, in the view of some current development in our social and political arenas, we, the clergy of Kenya, we would want to add our voice as is expected of us by conviction of our faith and also by a constitution in the foreign areas. That we strongly condemn the Supreme Court ruling concerning LGBTQ in Kenya. We recently saw our president, Dr. Miriam Ruto, condemning it, as well our opposition reader, Raira Moro Odinga. We have seen the Muslims condemning this, and we want to say this, that Kenya belongs to God, and there are things we cannot allow. And we are repeating this again and again, and we are expecting that God will take control in the matters concerning the Supreme Court ruling to be registered. Uh, the Bible which we are guiding, which is our guiding authority, completely declares homosexuality is a sin and against natural design of God concerning sexuality. So we are asking that that matter of Supreme Court registering LGBTQ, that our parliament will come on board and pass a motion to register it. And as I welcome the rest of the graduate to speak on the matter right now, which we are going, they are going to address that issue of even what is going to happen on Monday, we believe that we are going to have a reconsideration. Welcome to the Scratch Organization to Narudia Kusema to Kiwa Mungano Pamoja Wabahubiri Namakanisa to 
tunataka kusema we want peace like what we prayed after the transition and we saw president dr william ruto he was ugly he became the president and we want to say this as clergy as christians the word of god tells us that we obey those people who are in authority who god has already positioned na sahi tunataka kusema hivi tunajua right honorable raira morodinga he is one among the pioneers of ugly people who have i normally say they created the bush for us politically we honor him too he has participated a lot to see us where we are as kenyans and we respect him what we are asking because we do not want bloodshed we do not want destructions of property in our country kenya we are requesting right honorable raila amorodinga and our president dr william ruto for the sake of kenyans because when they fight the people who normally suffer raia wa kawaida ndio wanaenda wanateseka biashara zetu ndizo zinakuwa zinakuwa rooted kwa hivyo wakati huu tunawaomba wote wawili kwa sababu wote wako na wale watu wanawafuata tunawaomba tafadhali wasikizane kama vile uh, mtumishi mwenzangu hapa amesema tafadhali wasikizane hatutaki kuona kukiwa na mfurugano hata hii ya mande they can be able to call each other they sit and they reconcile and Kenya to remain in peace that is our prayer secondly na hii tena tunataka kushukuru kwa sababu wote wawili waliongelelea hii mambo ya LGBTQ na sisi hatunyamazi mpaka hiyo jambo la LGBTQ itolewe katika Supreme Court yetu hatutaitikia kama kanisa na kama muungano wa wahubiri hiyo jambo ya kuwa ya kwamba tunaweza kwenda kinyume na vile Mungu mwenyewe ame, ame tu, ali, we know what the bible says god himself he created male and female na hiyo ni maandiko na hatuwezi geuza hivyo na hatutaki kuletewa mambo zingine za ngambo sisi tunataka tunamcha Mungu president wetu anamcha Mungu na tunamuuliza tunashukuru aliongea lakini ana uwezo na ana nguvu ya kuita hao wabunge wote hiyo jambo itolewe kwa supreme court yetu kama si hivyo umeona Mombasa wamefanya maandamano na tumesema tunaenda hata Tuesday kupatiana hiyo petition yetu ile tumesign kama kraji kwa bunge na tunataka hiyo jambo hatunyamazi na hatutaitikia kuwe ya kwamba hiyo registration ya NGO ita remain hapo watoto wetu waendelee kumwasi Mungu tutakuta ya kwamba mvua imekataa kunyesha tukute tuna mapigo ya Mungu kwa hivyo tunawauliza viongozi wetu tafadhali muwe na msimamo na msimame kama vile Dr. William Ruto aliingizwa na maombi wacha atetee huyo Mungu na endelee kumtetea vile tuliona amemtetea wote waislamu tushikane all christians Kenya is a country that believe God and we trust God we thank God that Mungu ametupa mvua Mungu wetu awabariki na waonekanie Sunning the political tension that is currently ongoing and risk our national unity and security through mass action and uh, complete political acrimony we request that parties involved should recognize that this nation is ruled by the rule of law and there is constitution that guides how our nation business should be conducted a nation that ignores its rules constitution is destined to fail we know that last year august 9 the nation went into general election 
and after the electoral process, which included a petition in the Supreme Court, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto was installed as the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. That is the current reality. Every political cycle will come with tension and some people will not be satisfied with outcome. And that's why our constitution has provided the constitution mechanism to address any electoral grievances. It is true that our nation is going through multiple challenges from drought, hard economic situation, insecurity in the north lift, and uh, numerous, numerous social ills that is uh, expected of our leaders both in government and opposition to provide leadership and support that will help and maneuver our nation out of this hard situation without breaking the nation the nation due to personal political ambitions kenya is bigger than any single one of us it is the nation that we will shall be uh, believe with our children and therefore it is our patriotic duty to defend kenya with everything we have including sacrificing our personal ambitions for the greater good of our common love for kenya in the light of this we humbly request the former prime minister right honorable raila amolo odinga who has who is and has been a great statesman to remember his sacrifices that he helped create a nation like Kenya in the past and to consider calling off the both, both the ongoing and the planned mass actions because it has potential to completely destroy Kenya and let him exploit other constitutional legal to resolve the existing disagreement and other grievances. Therefore, we call all the Christians to pray for this nation. We call also all the leaders to come together and shun everything that is ongoing so that there will be no be, there will be no be skirmishes or any any one losing life on Monday and the days thereafter. So let us come down and call Kenya our home. Sisi kama muungano wa watumishi wa Mungu uh, ambao wanaongoza uh, watumishi hatuko hapa kuuliza mambo ya wao kuwa na hardship kwa sababu hiyo ni wao wenyewe waongeleshane wao kwa wenyewe tuko hapa kusema hivi sisi hatutaki kuona umwagikaji wa damu in the name of maandamano ama political ambition Ile, tunajua saa hii hali ya economy ni mbaya na tunajua ya kwamba opposition reader right honorable raila moro odinga ako na watu wengi ambao wanamfuata na vile vile hata dr william ruto our president also kuna wale watu anaongoza kenya mzima wawe wali wa walimpigia kura na hata huwakumpigia na kwa sababu Mungu alimwezesha akakalia hiyo kitu. Ombi tunaomba ni hivi. Ni kwamba tu waweze kuja pamoja. Hii mambo hatutaki kuona destruction of properties, hatutaki kuona vijana wetu wakikufa in the name of demonstration na hatutaki kuona hiyo majibishiano wanabishana wacha kusikue na mtu ambaye anajipiga kifua yeye akisema ya kwamba huyu anakaa hivi huyu ako hivi wakae chini wenyewe kwa sababu wakipigana wale watu wanaumia na tunaongelelea juu ya wakenya na the kraji movement also watu wa kawaida ndio kuanga wanaumia wao they are safe where they are they are protected we are speaking on behalf of kenyans who are going when they are demonstration or they are those rioting and so forth 
wao ndi wataumia wanabiashara na wale wengine. Kwa hivyo sisi kama ni kusikizana kwao waende wasikizane kama vile tumesema wako na simu ya kila mtu wakae chini wasikizane kivyao lakini watuachie Kenya yetu iwe na amani.